Hi Flosstube, I'm Sally, Stitchy Sally here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Uh, today is the 5th of July 2023 and this is Flosstube number 54. A very warm welcome whether you are a returning viewer or a new viewer. As always it is so lovely to have you here. Um, I do have a bit to show you today. I've got some uh, more FFOs, some fully, fully finished objects. Um, I have a couple of new starts and some of the usual whips, um, a few floss tube shout outs, a little bit of a life update which I'll leave until the end, um, and uh, a couple of questions for you as well. So I'm going to get started. FFOs. So the first one is, oh dear that needs a, I thought I'd clean that but never mind. Sorry for the glare as well, it's a bit difficult to uh, to get away from it actually. Um, so this is Barbara Anna Designs Sea Dandelion and it is from... Mm, I can't remember, it's one of the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazines but I can't remember which issue it was now. So. Um, I went to the works and I bought a few of these box frames. These are the eight in, eight, near enough 8 inch ones, 20 centimeter. I tend to prefer working in inches because, you know. <laughs> and um, I just, I, my fabric just wasn't quite big enough um, to go on a board. Obviously it is, it's laced onto a board so I've just put, I don't know if you can see it, the lace up the sides and then I've put some shells. I'm really sorry for the glare, so very sorry. It's um, it's very bright here. The sun's right in, well it's not right in because it doesn't get right in but uh, I'm just not making sense am I? I do apologise. So that's my first FFO. Really pleased with that, just need to find somewhere to hang it now. The next one is this one and this is Blackbird Designs Yellow Submarine. Again box frame from the works and shells in the bottom. So I'm really really pleased with that. Just absolutely love it. So I'm going to I'm going to move um move one of the frame piece, pieces that I've got up and this will go under uh, my other two uh, Magical Mystery Tour finishes that I've got on the wall. So I've just got three, two more to do with the Magical Mystery Tour I think. Now Long and Winding Road and Strawberry Fields I believe is all I have left to do now. Sorry I'm talking away to myself leaning over there, I do hope you could hear that. And then my final finish is Cottage Garden Samplings Christmas Eve. And I got this frame quite a while ago in a ch in uh, one of the local charity shops. I didn't actually get it for Christmas Eve, I got it for something else. Um, for a needles dance, but when I put it up against it, it just didn't look right. It just bleached, bleached the the, uh, the stitching out. So um, Christmas Eve's gone in it now, and I'm really, really pleased with that. I don't particularly want to put him away either until Christmas. I'd quite like to just have him up. I do have some Christmas pieces up on the wall, to be honest, um, because basically they took a lot of doing, and I didn't want to put them put them away. Right, so we'll go on to new starts now. So the lovely Izzy from The Primitive Hair, she released this freebie for Fairy Day. Um, and I, I couldn't resist starting it. And it is called Don't Piss Off The Fairies. So I don't have this fabric. This is one of Izzy's fabrics. Um, so... It's charted for Gentle Arts Rose Garden and 
week star works back and i <laughs> i misread and i thought hmm, rose garden week star works don't have that um so i'm using bark and i'm using baked apple i do have rose garden but i was looking for it in the wrong box so that's my start well i say it my start obviously i've started it and i've stitched a few times on it let me tell you, that fairy takes a lot of stitching, but she's worth it. Um, so this is on 36 count Winter Moon by Swigart. And I just love that. Really, really like it. And I couldn't have uh, finished off in a better place, really, could I? <laughs> I finished stitching. So uh, yeah, that's one of my new starts. Oops. Oh, good grief, what's going on? Sorry. And then uh, my next new start, which I did talk about last time and I did show it, is not that one. Everything's falling off the table. Everything has, well not everything, but some things have fallen off the table. I will pick those up in a minute. So this is my new start, Barbara Anna Designs Sailing Dreams. And this is for the seasonal sal that Lynn, the Lancashire Stitcher, um, is hosting. So this is uh, my piece for summer. Um, and I'm also stitching this along with lovely Sally at Flossy Sews and Grows. We're doing this for our Barbara Anna Wednesdays. Well, I'm doing this for our Barbara Anna Wednesdays. I think Sally's doing the seasonal ladies, I believe, that you can only get from Nick Kamoska. And obviously, uh, we can't buy from Russia at the moment. Um, so I am... Um, using all the called for threads chat in there and I'm stitching her on I think it's 32 count it's I don't know what it is it just looks like maybe a cream or or something like that haven't got a massive amount done but that's my start And you know what? I felt like such an idiot. So last Wednesday, I wanted to do this side of her face. And I sat down and I thought, damn it, I haven't got my other project bag that that thread was in because it's I'm using it on um, Strawberry Harvest. So I just stitched, stitched uh, some of this blue in her hair here first. Um, because we were watching something on TV and I didn't want to disturb anybody. So once it had finished, I got up, went and got my project bag, sat back down, looked in it. It's not there. So I said to my husband, can you just pause the repair shop? I'm just going to go and have a look. Went through all my thread boxes because I have a master set of DMC that I take from. Wasn't in there. Went back through my project, other project bags wasn't in any of those. Went back through my boxes, went back through my project bags, because you know, sometimes you miss things. And I thought, I have no idea where this is. Have I got a spare one? So I had to go through with my boxes of spare DMCs, find the spare one, Bobbin ate it, got sat down. And then I thought, I'm just gonna have a look back in Strawberry Harvest, and there it was. Yeah, talk about being an idiot. But anyway. <laughs> and I now have two of those bobbin at it. <laughs> but I do love how she is looking. I just think she is absolutely gorgeous. And as I've said before, there is something just so special about Barbara Anna's Dreaming Girls. I think they are just so beautiful. 
I'll put that away after because there's just too much stuff. I've still got um, Cosmic Dreams in there um, as well. So, right. So this is my next one. I'm just, I was trying to do them in some order just so that I didn't look like a bumbling idiot and I still look like a bumbling idiot. So, what's the girl to do? So this is um, Blackbird Designs. It's Maria Salby Humphrey 1831 and I am doing this drum here which is Summer in Bloom. And I'm stitching this for the Tuesday night BBD sale that I do with Barb who is Batty Barb to no Batty Bat 210 on Instagram and Mouse who is Tales for Stitching Mouse also on Instagram. So this is the one that I'm doing. Um, and I am using the DMC conversion. And I'm stitching it on 32 count vintage country mocker. Oops. And it's almost done. Don't have a massive amount more to do. Um, I think all I've got left is just bits in this butterfly down here and then I think I just have some bits to fill in on the flowers and then it's all finished. Oh and the year, I have to add the year to it as well. I'm sorry, even with my ring light this isn't very good lighting today. So yeah, really pleased with that so hopefully I might just get that finished next week. And then... Uh, Maybe, just maybe, get it made up into a drum. And then next whip is this one. Plum Street Sampler's Pink House Sal, uh, Pink House Sampler, which is affectionately, affectionately known as the Big Ass Pink House Sal, which I am doing with my lovely friend Elaine. Um, Ellie Welly Stitcher um, and I'm stitching this the DMC conversion and if you watch Elaine she's stitching it with the um, the recommended um, hand dyed threads so they do look a little bit different but the birth they both look lovely even though I do say so myself that mine looks lovely so here we are it's where I'm at so I have been adding this side of the house and you can just see there I've added the shepherdess just trying to work out whether she's completely finished I'm not entirely sure <laughs> So yeah, it's coming along really, really well. I do really need to get more of that grass done because if I don't, I'm going to hate it. So I think maybe this Thursday, I'll have a break from the house and go back to the grass and start filling more of that in. But I just love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, and I didn't say that's 25 count vintage country mocker because I forgot to tell you that. And I do apologise if you can hear my washer going. That's obviously that's the kitchen's there. And then working out what's on the floor. <laughs> if I need what's on the floor next, but I do. So next up we have Stitches Through the Years at Strawberry Harvest, which is my Friday night uh, sheep stitch along with my lovely friend Barb. Um, Batty Bat 210 again on Instagram um, and I'm also stitching this as part of my 6 for 60 sal with um, lovely Laney um, Contented Needlework of Kim and Deb Wilson Stitches we're all doing 6 for 60 um, and happy 60th birthday Kim for yesterday was it yesterday? Yes. Sure it was yesterday. Um, so yeah, 
and I'm also doing the Big Birthday Sal 2023 which was the brainchild of Sarah Ward I can't remember her Instagram handle unfortunately um, and I'm using all the DMC on this one and I'm stitching this on 40 count vintage country mocker and I'm not far off sorry I thought I could hear it raining I've got the windows open I thought I could hear it raining but it's not um, so still <laughs> still working away on this grass down at the bottom and obviously I've just got this little bit to do and then it comes down uh, for a couple of rows I think um, and then I've just got some little flowers here and there popping and that will be done absolutely love this They're just so pretty, these um, these seasonal designs of um, lanners. So I still have two six for 60 in there to, to get done, but they'll be, uh, they'll be getting started at, at some point. Right, I'm just gonna pick these two up off the floor. Uh, my next whip is um, this one. It's La Poulet from the Black Bear Designs book Ooh La La. And this is my Saturday night stitch with lovely Laney, Laney Main on Instagram. And I'm stitching this with mostly the called for hand eyes. There's just a couple um, that I've, I'm using the DMC for because I don't have them. And this is being stitched on 40 count sparkles here be dragons. And that's where I'm at. So as you can see, I'm just filling in like this, I don't know, would you call it patchwork thing at the bottom? Patchwork thing. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at on that. So that might be another finish. And I think, it, I've, obviously I've got this bottom piece of fabric here, so I might stitch this, uh, which is, um, what's it called? Okay. The budding twig. If I've got enough, I shall probably stitch that on it, but I'll see because it's actually stitched on 32 so 40 might make it a little bit small actually so um, I might not do that because obviously if they're too small it's going to be really fiddly to finish off and I don't like fiddly <laughs> right final whip I'm not going to show you Guardian this time sorry I'm just going to have a quick drink Yeah, I'm not going to show you Guardian this time because I haven't done a massive amount on it. I need, really need to kick myself into gear, to be honest, and get, get back properly to it. So the last whip um, is Needlework Press and Be Kind to One Another, which is a sal that I'm taking part in um, that's hosted by Beth, the Steadfast Stitcher, and Mary, Daydream Stitcher. Um, and... Lynn the Lancashire Stitcher and Gail, Gail Sneed on Instagram are also joining in um, and I'm just absolutely loving stitching this so I am using the DMC conversion off the chart apart from Ye Old Gold which I have which is the um, original Crescent Colours um, and I'm stitching this one over one on 25 count vintage country mocker. And there we go, that's where I am at. So as you can see, I finished up the top, finished this, these Quaker bits here. Um, and then I'm, I've gone to work my way down now. Started with these flowers. I need to go back and fill in uh, the beak and the 
eye on the birds. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted by things outside. <laughs> Just thinking, for God's sake, that cannot be my window cleaner coming again. It is my, sorry, be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Oh dear, I swear they come more than once a month, but anyway, never mind. Right, I showed you that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh dear me. Yeah, so sorry about that. I, have, I like to pay them at the time. I don't like to be having too many bumps to pay. Um. Ah! Right, that's all my wits. As I say, I'm not going to show you Guardian because I haven't really done um, a massive amount to it. So, what have I got now? Um, right, haul. So, you remember last time that I, um, I had a one, two, three stitch order come in. So, it arrived, <laughs> obviously. And this is one that I ordered and it's Stacey Nash Designs wonderful I think keep drum and I am going to have use this as one of my six for 60 starts that I'm going to do in December I know it's mad isn't it I've done one lot of six for 60 and I'm going to do another in December but I just decided that that was what I wanted to do it's the window cleaner going um <laughs> so yeah that's going to be one of my six for 60 so if you have it and you'd like to stitch it along, stitch along with me when I start it in December. I don't know which date in December it will be, but. And then the other one that I got is this one. And it's Teresa, Teresa Kogut. I, I'm so sorry, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Um, her surname, should I say. And it's with thy hands. I have wanted this ever since, I don't know whether it was um, a class piece or a retreat piece or whatever, but I've wanted this ever since. Just fell in love with it. Same with the um, the Stacey Nash one. Um, so yeah, I got that and that is going to be my birthday, my actual birthday start. So if you have it and you'd like to stitch along with me, please feel free. Again, like I say, it won't be till December. Um, and Elaine Ellie Wally Stitcher, she's going to join me, so that is absolutely fantastic. I was so pleased when she said um, that she was going to. And I just like everything. I love these little ones as well, and just the sampler, absolutely beautiful. And this booklet, it is so. I've, I've n this is my first Teresa Kogu. Um, I've never had one of hers before, whether it just be a leaflet or a booklet, and it's just so nice. Such a lovely, lovely booklet. And then I went to online, not actually physically to the Patchwork Rabbit, online to the Patchwork Rabbit. And I picked up Barbara Anna Design Star Woman, David Bowie inspired. I think that's fantastic, just love it. And I also got Woodland Dreams. And I have actually done the let me know when this comes back into a stock on into stock on a couple more as well. And then I had some um, happy mail. If you look on there, it is written happy mail. So I did a giveaway on my Instagram for Jardin Privé I Love Sheep. You may remember that Alice and the Stitching Whippet on Instagram, she very kindly um, sent me the chart. Um, so I did a, um, a giveaway on my Instagram for it so I could just pass it on to another stitcher. And Audrey, the fancy froggy on Instagram, she won it. So she sent me this lovely card just to say thank you. But not only that, she sent me a piece of fabric as well, and it's um, a lakeside linen. It's 32 count vintage winter sky. Whoops. And that, it's, it, 
that's not really showing it true. It's, I don't know, it's more of a, I don't know. <laughs> it's more of a lilac-y, bluey gray sort of color. Absolutely beautiful. And I did say to Audrey, that will be perfect for a Barbara Anna and that's what she'd actually thought as well. So, so thank you so much, Audrey. Absolutely love that. Always nice to get Happy Mail. Absolutely love, love Happy Mail, whether it be something from a friend or whether it be something I have bought. If it makes me happy, then it's Happy Mail and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so the couple of questions that I have right as you know my daughter Abby she stitches um, she's just started one of the animals with clothes on I can't remember I cannot remember the name of the designer now designs by SA stitches it something like that anyway she's she's she hasn't started it she's got everything kitted up to do the penguin now what I what I want to ask is does anybody know of a make of needle that does not tarnish she has a lot of bother with needles tarnishing um, I had some people did a uh, friend friend of mine stitching friend of mine did send her some um, but she has found that none of them are particularly so I don't know what she's had. This is the problem. I don't know what needles she's had. So if you have any ideas of a tarnish-free needle that actually is tarnish-free, um, if you could just pop a comment um, down below and we can have a look at them. Um, preferably available in the UK would be brilliant. Um, I mean, I would order from 123 Stitch if they do them anyway because they're... Uh, shipping is very reasonable to the UK, so I don't mind that so much, but yeah. Um, and then another question is for those of you who stitch long dog samplers. I know I've mentioned long dog samplers uh, before and the possibility of maybe doing one. The more I see of them, the more I really, really would like to have a go. But I am a little bit like, what if I get fed up <laughs> of stitching one? So the, the, the question that I really wanted to ask is, do they have a lot of backstitch? Because I'm not keen on backstitch. I would backstitch as I went along if there was quite a lot, but yeah, if you just, you know, just give me some hints and tips and things for stitching them just in case I do decide and yeah, do they have a lot of backstitch, uh, basically. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much if you could just give me some hints and tips and also, um, you know, if you have, if you know that you, the needles you're using are definitely tarnish free, that would be great if you could just pop a comment on below for me. That would be fantastic, thank you. Uh, right, I just want to mention a few floss tubers who are under a thousand. I know, I know, many floss tubers are not bothered about getting to a thousand. Um, and you know, like like all of us, we we just do it for fun, really. Um, I mean, I did it just to try and get myself, give myself a bit more confidence, which it doesn't really, to be honest. But there we go. Um, so yeah I have and I will have mentioned all of these before because I don't have time to watch any other floss tubers than the ones that I watch already so I will have mentioned them before but if you're new and you've not seen them if you could just go over I'll put all the links down below you know if you wouldn't mind just going over giving them some love subscribing watching whatever um, so the first one is cross stitch therapy with Gracie and I just love watching Gracie, she's absolutely lovely. Um, she stitches a wide variety um, of, of projects. She has just put out a floss tube extra about what she's going to be stitching through the summer. And it, that was lovely to watch, just to see what she had. Some of them she'd started, some of them she was um, going to be starting new. Um, and then yesterday I watched Ellie and Ali, the Yorkshire Dolly mixtures. Um, they do some lovely projects. I mean, as every, everybody who knows, you know, if you watch Ellie on her own, she's a, um, mainly a sampler stitcher. Um, the both stitching the Long Dog Samplers um, pandemic, um, which was a freebie during the pandemic. 
um, and they're doing them you know on different fabrics with different with a different thread and they look so different you know you wouldn't you wouldn't think it was the same thing really so yeah so I, I like I say I watched them yesterday so if you've not watched them do pop on over um, and have a look and then I have watched um, Connie and Melina count twice stitch once I have to look and make sure I get that the right way around because knowing me I'll get it totally wrong um, Melina has had a an absolutely gorgeous finish and um, so do go on over and have a look at that um, they're both uh, well Connie does finish quite a lot of stuff and um, smaller pieces and everything they, they have a, again a wide variety of stitches they're great fun to watch um, and they spoke about uh, StitchCon they've been to StitchCon and then um, I've watched Charlotte High Heeled Stitcher I've mentioned Charlotte before well I've, let's say I've mentioned all of these before um, she's just finished Oh my God, Charlotte. <laughs> I can see it. Dark Queen of the Seas by, is it Autumn Lane Stitchery? And it is absolutely stunning. Really, Charlotte, you have done such a, an amazing job on that. It is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, do go and have a, um, a watch of Charlotte. Um, and then, Last but by no means least, Shelley, it's only stitching. Um, love watching Shelley. I love everything. Absolutely, absolutely everything that she stitches. Um, yeah, she's um, she's quite a prolific stitcher as well. Uh, stitches on some absolutely beautiful fabrics. Um, she did have a floss tube channel once before and for some reason it got taken down. She had got to a thousand subscribers and it got taken down she never got it back and um, so please do go and give her a, a, a subscribe and a like and comment and um, so yeah those are my floss tuber mentions this time Um I'll just do I, have, I haven't really got any plans uh, for stitching just basically stitch what I have got on the go and um, the only thing I am going to do, going to be starting, which I did mention last time, I don't know when, um, is um, an Emma Congdon piece. I can't remember the name of it. It was in Cross Stitch magazine, um, and I'm starting that with Yoanita when she comes back from her trip to the states. Um, and I've changed my mind on the fabric that I was going to use as well, <laughs> so I'm going to be using different fabric. Um, so just a quick life update. Not really a lot. Um, so for those of you who have been with been with me for a while you know we were waiting for next door's massive conifer tree to be taken down um, and that got taken down last Friday and um, they've left a five foot stump so I'm not entirely sure whether they should have left that or not my husband has uh, emailed the insurance hub that um, dealing with you know getting all the different companies coming out and having a look at things and saying what needs doing um so we'll see what they say but i thought they'd take it right down to the ground and then treat it so it didn't grow back um whether they have treated it or not i don't know i can't see um because it's in among a load of bushes so i can only i can only see the fact that they've left about a five foot stump so now we're just going to play the waiting game um, I think we've got about four more visits from the measuring people, but it is it is moving um, again because the cracks are opening up in the kitchen. So um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, so that's that. With sorry, I should have said if if you haven't been with me before our kitchen extension that was done by the previous owners is subsiding um, so yeah <laughs> great fun um, so we're going out out on Friday I don't want to go <laughs> we've been invited to an 80th birthday do I don't want to go I hate social situations I am not comfortable in social situations 
I have nothing to talk about. I don't like the way I look, so in whatever I put on, I don't feel right in. As I've said before, I my hair, I don't do my hair very well. Um so yeah, I don't I don't like social situations, I don't like going going to parties anything like that if it was just like the four of us going for a meal that'd be fine I wouldn't mind that but I know that I'm just going to sit there and think I'm hating every minute of this can I go home when can I go home and I dare turn around to my husband and say I'm not going I mean really I should stand up for myself I should say I don't want to go I'm not going but um I know he won't be very happy with me so yeah, I'm just gonna have to go and lump it in the eye. Really, really, <laughs> really. I've been feeling a bit stressed, thought of going, but there you go. What can I do? Well, I could. I could, couldn't I? I could just say no. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd just be much happier sitting at home in my own little world doing my stitching. So I've I won't be getting any stitching done on my strawberry harvest piece this week. Sorry, Barb, I won't be able to stitch with you this week. Um, yeah. So, is that everything? I think it probably is. I cannot think of anything else. I'm sure there was something else that I just thought I was going to say when I was waffling about not wanting to go. Oh, yes, my husband has put in to retire, officially, at the end of October. Sometimes I'm okay with it, sometimes I panic, thinking, are we going to be okay? But, according to our financial advisor, we should be fine. So, he's fed up with the job, to be fair, so I can't blame him, can't blame him for wanting to finish. Um. But yeah, it has, I I have gone, and, th and this just goes to show what my head is like, really. Um, and I'm waffling, aren't I? But anyway, um, yeah, I have gone down the, oh my God, he is retiring. We are closer to death because he's retiring. And I know that sounds really weird, but I have always been, scared to death of dying and I know I'm not going to know anything about it but that's that's just the way and my sister's just the same my sister is exactly the same but anyway yeah so it looks like he will be officially retiring on at the end of October so that'll be fun but I have already told him I have told him I am still doing my floss tubes I am still watching floss tube because he does take over the telly. The telly, as far as he's concerned, is, is his. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I am going to still watch Floss 2. But I'm not giving that up. I am not stopping, even if it means we sit in separate rooms. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, on the other hand, we are kind of looking forward to be able to get out when we want. And, and things like that so that, that'll be uh, that'll be nice but not live in each other's pockets because I, I don't think we'll do that <laughs> anyway I am going to go now now that I have um, <laughs> just waffled about a load of rubbish and you probably just sat there thinking oh my god this woman she's just a mess I know I'm a mess. <laughs> anyway, I will hopefully be back in two weeks time, but it may be a different day because I think we are going to one of the local agricultural, we go to one of the local ag agricultural shows. Um, my husband's on holiday for the next two weeks, starting next week, I believe. So um, I may film on a different day or 
I may not be back for a month, but I will see. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm waffling and you're probably sick of me. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the lovely comments that you leave and also for um, the likes as well. Please do keep coming to watch. My views have been down for the last couple of months, uh, last couple of floss tubes. I don't know why. I don't know whether I'm getting a lot of adverts. I know there are adverts. There are getting to be quite a lot of adverts, but please, please don't let that put you off. You know, I still watch floss tubers, even if there's a lot of adverts um, in them. So please do keep coming back. Keep supporting us for doing this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to set up a coffee account. I'm not going to monetize my channel. I don't want to do that because this for me is just getting myself out there um, interacting with other stitchers because I don't have anybody here who stitches other than Abby of course um, but we don't often sit and stitch together so yeah I'm gonna go thank you so much again for watching take care everybody keep on stitching enjoy every single minute of your stitching um, see you all soon thank you bye